Hey dads, are you looking for some kind of food processor out there? We have one of those ultimate choppers and I wanted to talk with you guys about our experience with it. But first of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that we like, use, and have. So if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up button, which is right over here, I believe, is very much appreciated if you want to click that. So like I was saying, we have one of these ultimate chopper things. Uh, it gets dirty. I will say that this thing, I, I haven't been cleaning it. Honestly, we haven't really been using it that much because of reasons I'll get to in just a minute. Now, as far as performance, yes, it works. It, you know, we've made, man, what's up with the focus on here? Let's get this thing in focus. We have made like salsas and hummus and my wife uses it just for food processing, food prep, that type of stuff. Um, and it seems to work really great. So you have your blade here in the middle press the button, you can pull it up, a little safety feature so it doesn't fall out. You can't pull it out unless you press the button. Then this is your container that comes out that uh, sits onto there. And then this is the actual uh, thing that turns, turns the blade. Um, I didn't realize how dirty this thing was. <laughs> um, so you, let's see, let's look at our cord real quick. Oh, it's about six feet long. That's about as, as long as I can go. Um, this is your, your button right here that you're going to use to press to make the thing spin. Now, it won't start spinning unless you have your cap on because it has uh, these little locking nougats on the bottom here. Can y'all see that right there? It's got those little locking nougats and it won't turn on unless those locks are, are pressed down. So what you do is you put this thing in. You put your blade in, you put all the junk you want in there, whether it's like garbanzo beans for hummus or all the stuff you need for salsa, throw it all in there. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll see if this thing uh, will work. Plug it in. Now, once you have it plugged in, you take this guy. One, we put this thing in the dishwasher because they did say that it was dishwasher safe. And as you can tell, it is not, it's not exactly round. It's it's kind of gotten a little warped over time. That's one issue. Um, close that up, got it in there. The second issue is that it has cracked on us too, this cap. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not very durable. If this thing had a lifetime warranty, that'd be pretty amazing. Yeah, there you go. It's fairly, fairly quiet too. Great little device, stops like kind of abruptly, uh, but that's okay. I, that way you don't have to wait for the thing to stop spinning because it's going so fast. I'll do it again. Boop, there it is. Um, but like I said, it does really, really well at you know making uh, hummus very creamy and all that type of stuff, easy to incorporate. You can easily take off the hat, put other things in. And, uh, and it works fairly well. Like I was saying, the, the main issue that we have is, I'm surprised that it worked for us because we've been having issues with the little locking thing here. But more importantly, the cap is just, I mean, it's fallen apart because of it's cracked right there and I just noticed it's cracked on two sides. Um, the other thing that I have to say about this is that whenever you're going to make whatever it is you're making in there, you take out your blade, that can be in the dishwasher, so that's great, dishwasher safe. Uh, it does, I'm noticing that it's getting fairly cut up on here, I don't know why, uh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know what would have been uh, making these cuts in there. But two, whenever you have, let's say, some hummus in here, or some salsa, whatever, um, it's usually gonna be like way up to the line here, because you're trying to put a lot in there. But uh, this hole here, so you go to take the thing out and like uh, stuff is very, it can easily slip through there or it's hard to get around the hole. Um, so it's just, uh, you got to kind of finesse it a little bit to get everything out there without it falling through. So uh, that's one qualm that I have to say about it. Is it a deal killer? No, because you can easily just wipe up the mess or put a towel down or something like that to, to in case something were to fall. Uh, not really that big of a deal. It does chop very well, I will say that. It's probably the best, like, small, compact, little chopping device that we have. So I could definitely recommend it. I'll link it up down in the description below if you guys care to check it out. Y'all can read some more of the reviews on Amazon about it. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of them over there because these things are pretty popular back whenever we got ours. And... Um, 
And it does, it, it, like I was saying, it makes great stuff and it works as a great food processor. Uh, if you guys want more of the dad reviews, I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen. I would love it if you watched some more of our videos. There's a little circle right there in the middle. If you guys wanna click that subscribe button, definitely appreciate that. Make sure you hit the bell, that way you get notified of our videos as well. If you have a product that you want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get my hands on it and make something for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Again, that thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.